Would you rather have a million dollars or a magic penny that doubles in value every day for a month? Most people would go with the million dollars, but if you stuck with the penny, you'd have 5.3 million. But how does that actually work? Of course, on the second day, you'll have two cents. On day five, 16 cents. But the longer you hold that penny, the bigger the jumps will get. On day 15, you'll have $163. On day 25, 167,000. And finally, on day 30, you'll have 5.3 million. This is all thanks to compound interest. Warren Buffett calls it the eighth wonder of the world and it was a complete game changer for me once I found out about it and it's arguably the most important thing when it comes to investing. Compound interest is essentially where you earn interest on your interest. Basically with the stock market on average you'll get 10% per year if you put your money into a diversified index fund like the S&P 500. So so basically 10% that might not sound like much but basically what it means is that every 7.3 years your money will double in value. Now this can lead to some pretty impressive results. Even if you're just investing $5 every day, if you do this for long enough, 43 and a half years, then you'll actually get a portfolio valued at just over $1 million. In comparison, if you only save that money, then you will only get $79,000. So there's a huge benefit to actually taking advantage of compound interest instead of only saving your money. And if you park your investment in a nice diversified index like the S&P 500, it's an extremely safe place to leave your money for the long term. Basically, this index fund is made Made up from the biggest 500 companies in America. Think well established companies like Facebook, Google, Amazon, Tesla, Coca Cola, or businesses that have been around for decades and stood the test of time. And another great way to make consistent gains in the stock market is dropping a like and subscribing to the channel. Now, don't get me wrong, 43 and a half years is a really long time to invest, but if you think of this as more of a retirement fund or a secondary savings account, then it does make sense. Taking a look at the YouTube analytics on my channel, the average viewer is about 25 years old. So a lot of you actually have 43 and a half years to be investing. And I think this is a great place to start. $5 a day is pretty achievable for most people. So it's something that I would strongly encourage. When I was a broke uni student living in a bedroom the size of a lunchbox, I always wanted to not be stressed out about money, not having to worry about when my next paycheck was going to come in so that I could pay for things. I had tried using a high interest savings account with a bank but that only gave me about 1% interest and I heard about investing but I thought you needed to have lots of money to get started and at the time I was living on about 160 US dollars every week so I didn't have much extra cash available. I didn't realize how straightforward investing could be and I was listening to lots of audiobooks from hedge fund managers like Phil Town and Peter Lynch listening to books like Rich Dad Poor Dad, just trying to figure everything out. I felt like I had to figure out how investing worked so I could be less stressed and have more spare time. I knew that money would really influence my life from what career I chose, if I could buy a house, where I lived, so I was really motivated to learn more about the stock market. I would see news headlines about people becoming millionaires from investing into companies like Facebook and Tesla and how if you had put in $10,000 into the S&P 500 50 years ago that you would have become a millionaire. So I knew that it was working for people and I just had to figure out how I was going to make it work for me. Then I learned about compound interest. I realized that investing didn't have to mean staring at three different computer screens trying to figure out the perfect time to buy and sell a company. Instead I could just start with $10 and I could build that into something I could use for my retirement. It blew my mind that this was possible and it completely changed my perspective about investing. Now I could calculate my returns from investing. I knew once I finished with uni that I could put aside about $100 a week and if I did that for long enough, about 40 years, 
then I'd have just over $2 million. Now, of course, I'd have to pay tax on that, but it was still a really nice feeling to know that with such a straightforward and hands-free strategy that I could set myself up for retirement in a fairly low-cost way. And if I really wanted to bump up my contributions, then I could even put in $500 a week and get over $10 million across 40 years. Again, tax is involved, but it's still a really good outcome. Now, I thought there were so many possibilities with my money. Instead of just buying pointless things like a new phone or clothes, I could actually use my money to make more money. It was something really easy with a hands-free approach. I could set up an automatic payment and the income could just start rolling in. Learning about the benefits of buying into an index fund made me more interested in money as a whole. I started keeping all of my income and using it to save up for a deposit on a house that I eventually bought a few years after starting on my investing journey. I also started looking at other investments like Tesla and asset classes like cryptocurrency. Of course, these are exciting and I've made some money from them, but nothing is as reliable and consistent as putting your money into a nice index fund like the S&P 500. But there were still so many questions that I had, like are there any other investments that I can make? Are there any different strategies than just buying into an index fund? And what's going to be the easiest way that I can automate this process so I don't ever have to lift a finger. If you want to see the answers to these questions, make sure to check out this video on screen and subscribe to the channel for all future uploads.